All right, we're going to do the match card for FWF um <clears throat> FWF Extreme 3. The first match will be an elimination tag match, but it won't be your ordinary elimination tag match. There will be no pinfalls or submissions, no countouts, no disqualifications. The only way to win is to stink face all the other members of the opposite team. So, it's, that's just how you end it. And I know that people like that kind of stuff, my viewers. So I was like, hey, not a bad idea to, you know, start off the show with an elimination stink face match. All right, so let's move on to the next match. Oh, wait, wait. No, I'll explain the story when I'm actually doing the, uh, the match. Uh, immediately following that will be Trevor Phillips taking on, whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, whatever. Okay, as I was saying after all that nonsense happened. Uh, Trevor will be defending the Warfare Championship against the White Ranger in a Flaming Tables match. The White Ranger becoming a number one contender by winning a Fatal 4-Way. He eliminated everyone, and then Trevor... Successfully defending his championship against Cobra. I forget what kind of match it was that they had. But anyway, Flaming Tables match. I've been trying to do this for a while. But I wanted the computer to set it up for itself. But it never happened. So I'll just, you know, set it up on my own. So that will be the second match at Extreme 3. From championship match to championship match. There will be Iron Man taking on Batman for the... Um, international Championship, Iron Man in the Mach 5 outfit, or Mark 5, I don't know how to say it, I don't. There's a new looking Batman, uh, different from the other one I was using. He has more costumes too, so that should be pretty interesting to see. But yeah, they're going to fight. Uh, the build up basically, Iron Man didn't have any challengers. I was like, who should face Iron Man? I said Batman. But I said Batman's going to earn it. So he faced Johnny Cage. He beat Johnny Cage. And Iron Man fought Robin and was given hell. Oh, wait. <laughs> I forgot my rule. I wasn't going to explain the story. My bad. We'll see what happens. Well, I'll explain when we actually get to the match. We can't have too many championship matches going on at once. So after, you know, you've seen the international championship and the warfare championship being defended, we will have a false count anywhere match between Supergirl and Wonder Woman which has been personal and it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a very um, grueling fight very vicious a lot of weapons will be used hopefully and hopefully it's entertaining let's go to the fifth match of the night okay that black screen that you saw hit the play button because I thought it was ready and it wasn't, so I paused and went back. So, the Tag Team Championships will be on the line in a TLC match. The Joker and Deathstroke defending the championships against former champions Superman and Spider-Man representing Marvel DC. I know it says Extreme Rules, but it's not an Extreme Rules match. Well, it is, but, it's, it, but it isn't. It's false count anywhere. And it will be a submission match between the champion Android 18 defending against the former champion Chung Lee. So as you can tell, a lot of championship rematches, or not really, just two. Yeah, just two. What am I talking about? It's just two. So that will be the last Superwoman's Division match of the night, the one for the championship. And the sub-main event will be for the... World Heavyweight Championship defended by Sub-Zero against Goku. Sub-Zero got to pick the match because I didn't have a match to decide whether, well, who was going to pick the stipulation. So I was like, okay, I'll just give them, give them a stipulation. So, <clears throat> well, I was going to let the champion pick. And uh, Sub-Zero says, okay, well, I want to have a Hell in a Cell match. Because I've never lost one. He's never lost a steel cage match. Or any kind of cage match he's never, he's, that he's been in, he's won. So, there's that. So he's going to be facing <clears throat> Goku. And this will be Goku's first Hell in a Cell match. Surprisingly, even though he has the experienced edge, 
he doesn't have the experience in the Hell in the Cell. And the main event, as Naruto moves up to Junin, he'll be facing Majin Buu. I'm going to change uh, Super Buu's name to Majin Buu. He's going to be facing... They're, well, they're going to be competing in a regular old-fashioned Extreme Rules match because the pay-per-view is called Extreme. Why not? Should be very interesting to see. Super Buu has under... believes he's... Uh, he has every right to underestimate Naruto, to believe that Naruto has no chance against him. And Naruto says, don't underestimate me, or you'll, you know, you'll get defeated. You'll lose. And Super Buu lost in a tag team match against Naruto, so who's to say he won't lose here? So that's it for the pay-per-view. I hope you enjoyed this preview. Hopefully you watch it. You don't have to watch the whole thing, but... That's why I put it in separate parts, because I don't want to make people watch the whole thing. But, hopefully you watch it, because I don't want to waste my time. So thanks for watching this video.